What's up, everybody? Welcome back. So, a moment that I've been waiting on since around January has finally came to fruition. So, before I jump into it, I just want to let you know ahead of time, this is going to be an unboxing video. It's probably one of the first major unboxing videos I've ever done. So, we're not really going to be doing a whole lot of work today. Just going to open the box, see what's inside, get all the pieces out, and give it a quick assessment. So, you may be asking yourself, what did I get? Well, I got a little package, and that package came from Russia with love. Uh, well, I mean, it's pretty banged up, so I guess it's not really love. Maybe it's more the thought that counts. But either way, um, I had to open it just to be sure what it was. I haven't actually looked at all the pieces yet, but what you're seeing in the box in front of you is the Carbon Pixels Wide Body Kit for the Infinity Q50. So for anyone interested in buying this kit, I will supply the link to the website in the description. And on the website, you can go in and look at pictures and 360 renderings of the kit installed in a 3D space, just to give you an idea of what it would look like painted. Now, before I open it and I start looking inside, I do have some um, issues. Uh, they're supposed to be side skirts that go with this kit. Our side skirts measure 81 and a half inches long. This box, as you can see from my foot, is not 81 and a half inches long. So, I don't know if there's side skirts in here. We're about to find out though. Let's go ahead and get it open. Alrighty. So, as I said, I did open the box just to look inside and see what was in here, but I did not actually take anything out yet. So, that you're seeing it for the first time just like I am. <sighs> okay. So, that's stuffing. That's stuffing. First piece is the duck bill for the trunk. Nice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take everything out of the box, I'll unwrap it all, and then lay it back out, and then I'll bring the camera back on after I get everything laid out in a nice, neat, even little pile. So this is the passenger over fender for the front. And this is the driver rear quarter panel ah there we go passenger or no driver side front over fender and then of course this is probably the uh hmm rear Passenger side quarter, maybe? I don't know. We'll see. Another rear quarter. Or maybe these are the door caps. I bet these are the door caps. Yeah, these are probably the door caps. Okay, cool. Yeah, rear door caps. Here is the gas tank section of the rear quarter for the passenger side. Put that back here. And we got the rear bumper caps or front bumper caps. Mm, not sure yet. Maybe the front. Looks like the front bumper caps. And then the, yeah, the rear bumper caps. Cool. So side skirts. Side skirts. Uh, okay. So, are they in two pieces? Are they two-piece side skirts? Is that what I'm looking at? Maybe? Hmm. Well, I'm gonna unwrap all this stuff and lay it out and see what we got.
So here's everything laid out. Um, all the pieces are here. And they are all in really good shape. No cracks, no breaks, no chips in the corners. No nothing. The side skirts were in fact two piece. There is a very ugly uh, split right there in the middle that uh, is definitely going to get plastic welded together and sanded and uh, sanded and smoothed to uh, be one piece because uh, I can't live with that. Um, so. My initial plan for this kit was to mount the kit without actually destroying the car in the form of a, a over fender instead of a actual wide body. Because so I wasn't sure if I wanted to, you know, go as far as molding and, and drilling into the body of the car. I really wasn't prepared for that. But after looking at the pieces, um, for example, so the back side of this one, the flat edges along the bottom and back sit flush against the car, which is what I had hoped all the edges were going to do, but they don't. So unless I figure out a way to build recessed edges off the back side of these pieces, I don't think that it's going to work how I want it to work. And I may have to actually cut the car and mold this in the right way permanently. So I guess that's something for me to think about and consider. Uh, meanwhile, I can get the spoiler painted and put on, uh, pending it fits the way it's supposed to. I'm not going to put anything on the car tonight because it's starting to get dark. But I can at least get the spoiler put on and painted. That'll be, that'll be cool. Um, now that I have the front bumper caps, these pieces right here, I can finally answer the question that people have been asking me since I got the bumper. Why isn't the bumper installed yet? Well, the bumper hasn't been installed yet because of these vents right here. So I didn't know how big these bumper caps were going to be. And I didn't want to paint this whole entire bumper just to ultimately have to delete these vents and have to redo it all over again. As you can see, the cap is ginormous. So it completely covers up the entire uh, vent. So I won't have to delete the vent because the entire thing disappears. And the great thing about that vent being there, since air is gonna come through there, the air can also travel up in and through this little portion right here. So everything gets decent airflow. So that's not gonna be a bad thing. Um, yeah, so overall, what do I think, what are my first impressions? Uh, for a wide body kit, this is exactly what I would expect. A kit that is to be installed permanently and not in the manner that I initially intended. Like I said, I guess I got a, a lot to think about as I figure out what I'm going to do with the installation process. But... This is it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop this one here because we don't have anything else left to, uh, to show you. Pretty short video. Um, do I recommend the kit to, to people? Yes, absolutely. Uh, it appears to be good quality. Um, and if they did the molds anywhere near the way they have on other cars that I've seen the kit installed on, it should line up pretty good. So the next video, we'll uh, be taping the pieces on the car and getting mock-ups to see exactly how they actually fit. So until then, I will uh, see you on the next one.